Okay, Pops. Yes. We are going to be talking about today yeah. how you can actually factory order and save hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands? It could be a million depending on the kind of car. Dep- and if you're in Florida or not. <laughs> yes. You could potentially save <laughs> yeah. thousands of Just dollars when you yes. factory order a car deal in 2021 because if you're watching this video in like 2023, 2021 sucked yes. to buy a car. Yes. Yes. Chip shortage. Foam shortage. Yeah. Rubber shortage. Just shortages everywhere. The only shortage there wasn't was COVID. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And other things, yeah. <laughs> so uh, what's going on right now, we're hearing it from all the different dealerships and all the manufacturers, is, hey, come in, place an order. Yes. Because there's no inventory. Yes. Right? What's the one trick that you need to know as a customer going into that process? And we've got an example here that we'll talk through. How you can actually save money if you are going to order. Well, um, what you do is you negotiate the price of the car while you're ordering it. You don't just say, okay, that's great. The MSRP is $62,895. Let's order the car. You need to discuss what the price of the car is going to be because they know, at least on that particular date, what uh, dealer cost is going to be and and what suggested manufacturer's retail price is going to be. Um, So they know what the margin is and they can negotiate with you. Now, a lot of customers today are going and ordering cars and just assuming that they have to pay MSRP or they're assuming that they're going to have to pay MSRP plus an additional dealer markup or they'll have to accept additional dealer installed accessories and nothing could be further from the truth. Okay, so break it down. Let's do it like very kind of step by step here. So what are the ways that I can save if I'm doing a fact order? Step one, like you just said, negotiate. Negotiate the price. Before placing the order. Before you actually place the order, you want to know what the what the cost of that vehicle to you is going to be before it ever arrives. It shouldn't be a surprise unless the manufacturer has, uh, has uh, put in place some type of small a price increase from when the time the vehicle was ordered to when the time it was actually built. And, and let's just briefly unpack that. MSRP prices on the same vehicle can change throughout a model year. Yes. Typically nominal, $100, yes. $250, yes. something like that. If you place an order in August and the vehicle isn't produced and brought to you until December and the MSRP change, that likely will get passed along to you. That being said, yes. negotiate the price before you place order. Yes. Then you mentioned something there with, with kind of what I'll call step number two. Yeah. Accessories. Yes. One of the beautiful things about factory ordering a car is you're likely going to pick it up right when it gets off the truck, right? Um, well, you know, you might give them a, you might give them five or ten minutes to actually do a <laughs> pre-delivery inspection. Um, but the one thing you'll notice, or or to note, is that for stock units, dealerships inventory units, when when they send those through their service department to be PDI'd pre-delivery inspection uh, for the lot, they also tell them what accessories they want added to the car. And they is like the sales manager. The sales manager. This is what the you new used car to man- do. Yes, yes. Um, and, and so those could be things like window tint. It could be uh, low jack. Could be wheel locks. Could be window etch. Could be paint and fabric sealant. Um, all those things actually get installed by the service department. They don't come the, from the factory on the car. So if you order a car, you can say to them, now, when that car comes in and you write up the repair order to get it PDI'd, please make sure to tell the service department not to install the window tint, not to install the yeah. paint, for, because I'm not ordering any of those items. My question for you, if I as a customer came in yeah. and I'm talking to the sales manager, you back in the yeah. day, and I said, when you do the RO for the PDI, yeah. no accessories, would you be like, well, how long have you been working in the business? That's the line. No, yeah. when you do the RO for the PDI, yeah. no accessories. Yes. Let's put that, that yeah. on it. We got the yeah. dollar. We need yeah, it. yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no PDI. Yeah. No, no, no accessories, accessories on, the on the RO, RO for, for the, the PDI. PDI. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but because that that's internal verbiage yeah. okay uh the ro is a repair order yep. the pdi is a pre-delivery inspection and the accessories are, are what, what you're gonna say yeah money. <laughs> and and so i mean i i have seen comments on our youtube channel and 
on our community where people have said, well, the dealer, you know, when I place the order, he's charging me free. Well, all our cars get that. No, your special ordered cars don't get that. Your inventory cars get that. Your stock cars get that. But an ordered car, I now have the option as to what I want on that car. That's why I'm ordering it. And I'm choosing as one of my options not to have window tint for $899, not to have low jack for $995. Let's use a very tangible example. Here is a car deal from earlier this year from a YAA member. Okay. Right? And you've got your discount. There's yes. manufacturer rebate adjusted price. And then there's window tint being added. Yes. Door edge guards, nitrogen, $190 nitrogen. Yeah. GPS yeah. and wheel locks. Wheel locks. These are all things that if they show up as you're negotiating on a factory order, you can say, say scratch no, that, scratch, scratch that, scratch yes, that. Yes, because they're not coming from the factory. Because when you write the RO for the PDI, yes. I don't want any accessories. Exactly. And that will that is a legit... It's a... A lot of negotiating is logical to, arguments, and this is very logical. Oh, absolutely. And may I say one other thing? You know, we used to get customers that would say, I don't want one of your stickers on the car that says where the car came from, what dealership it came from. Well, that's something that automatically gets done. I don't even have to put it on an RO. That automatically gets done. But if a customer specifies that they don't want it on the car, I would put it on the on the PDI RO. Please no admiral uh, nissan sticker or you know whatever yeah, dealership yeah. i was working at at the time so that they wouldn't put it on the car you have to honor a customer's request the only reason for that is because i don't know they're the ones actually <laughs> paying for it so there you go that's that's step number two and, and let's mention step number three which is i think important and it's essentially a, a logic a a, a a train of thinking that you can use during the negotiation which is floor plan it costs money in normal times yes uh, to, to floor plan to the yes. interest expense associated with holding the inventory at the dealership right now because yeah. vehicles are moving so quickly the floor plan expense it's, isn't it's as just, much well the floor there is no floor plan expense for them on those yeah and 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 so whatever floor plan assistance they get from their manufacturer it becomes a gross profit becomes so, now it doesn't become a payable part of the gross profit that the salesperson gets paid on <laughs> but it does become a profit for the dealership and to explain that so on a on a factory invoice to a dealership there's obviously the invoice price and there's the msrp mm-hmm. there's holdback there's usually advertising yeah. assistance, which there's is floor plan assistance, and then there's floor yeah. plan assistance. So there are un, there are money monies, I guess. Uh, the monies, uh, what, what's known as under the line monies, that go to the dealership. So you can use like you know this. If all right, help me out here. Is what I'm about to say. Would it make sense? Um, Take five hundred dollars off of the out the door price because I know you get the floor plan assistance from the dealer or from the manufacturer, and I'm going to take delivery within forty eight hours. You're going to pocket that. You, you could try that. In today's world, it probably won't work, okay, because legitimately in today's world, if a dealer's doing an order, yeah. they're giving up the additional dealer markup that they would charge on an in-stock vehicle. That's a good point. Um, so that my, my supposition is that the dealership today is going to look at you and go, nope. Um, we will agree to sell it to you for the MSRP. Yeah. We will agree not to put any accessories on it. We will agree not to add our additional dealer markup on it. But we're taking the but, floor plan. But, but the floor plan and any other under the line monies are ours, not yours. Now, in normal times where they have inventory, where you know they have a 90 day supply of cars in the lot as opposed to a nine day supply of cars in the lot, yeah, they would they would negotiate under invoice in many cases on an ordered car yeah yeah all right so there you go accessories logical argument on the ro for the pdi yeah no, no accessories. accessories yeah and when you say that to them the, the sales manager's jaw is going to hit the floor yeah feel free to take out a little selfie cam send yeah. those in back yeah. to us join yaa.com post it on the community they yes. want to see some reactions yes yes for we when do. someone says yeah that. Absolutely. Tell them Uncle Ray suggested you say. Yes, tell them your good Uncle Ray. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Thank you, handsome. <laughs>